I love that story. God wasn't in the hurricane, the wind. God wasn't in the fire. In all those things that we've called acts of God, <laughs> God wasn't there. God was in the angel that appeared to help Elijah from dying. God was in the small voice within. And in our prayer time and in worship, we're reminded that we're a part of something big. We're a member of the cosmic team. We can feel alone, but we're not. And whether we look out there at the cosmos and the stars and the sunrise and the sunset, or whether we paused inside to realize that that capacity for love is God within us, God is available to us. And whatever our deficits, whatever attachment injuries we had as a child, no parents or parents who hurt us, others who betrayed us, that God can come to us. We have the capacity to love ourselves. We have the capacity to care for whatever hurt child is within us, to treat that child well, to be the parent of that child, that child has always longed for but never had. Oh, friends, we come with our prayers. We come with our needs. We come honestly. And so we remember today we remember our educators and those raising children now school won't be opening till the fall. There's so many people with frayed nerves. And we just pray that they'll find that connection that allows them to tie a knot in the rope that's fraying and hang on. And of course, we think of our indigenous brothers and sisters. Experiencing the trauma of memories and of the loss of children and grandchildren that never came home. We think of the pressure that politicians are under and medical people are under. We think of the pressure you're under. We think of your worries about your kids and your grandkids. We take it all to God, the source. Be not dismayed, whatever be time, God will take care of you. Beneath God's wings of love, Oh! 
out of love for love and that one day when we die it'll simply be a dying into love oh bless everyone who's watching give them a blessing according to their particular need may we rest in that comfort of your eternal love children of Israel, our ancestors, when they were roaming, trying to find a place to stay, they called it 40 years in the wilderness. And yet, in the daytime, they were led by a cloud. In the nighttime, led by a fiery pillar. Symbolic words to say that in the good times and the bad times, God led them. So let's sing a great hymn, Lead On, O Cloud of Presence as we claim that good news.
from this place, may the strength of the wind and the light of the sun, the softness of moon and mystery, reach you and fill you. May beauty delight you and happiness uplift you. May wonder fulfill you and angels surround you. May your heart be peaceful and your word be true. May you seek to learn and learn to live and live to love and always know that love accompanies you each day as you prepare to rise again. Amen. Blessings to you all. Amen. <clears throat>